If you ever make a mistake, okay, first off, I'm just assuming that you may make mistakes, but hey, if you're like me, we all make mistakes. And then you can undo what you just did by coming up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, and there's the Undo button. It's not highlighted now because I haven't performed any action to undo. And then you've got the Repeat and Redo button. It's a double agent. So if you ever do something and you want to undo it, after you undo it, you can go ahead and it'll turn into a redo. However, if you perform an action and you don't undo it, just an action, like typing in some text or formatting, this will be the repeat, for example. If I go ahead and do Control A and select all the text within the document and I hit the delete key on the keyboard and I'm like, uh oh, didn't want to do that. I want to change my mind. Come up here, you can hit the undo button. And when you hover over it, you get the shortcut keys. If you don't want to hit the undo button because it's too far up at the top, then go ahead and do Control Z or while I'm there, I'll just hit the undo button and it brings it back. And if I'm like, hmm, I changed my mind, let's come back up here and you get the redo of the undo. So I can go ahead and redo what I just undid and undo what I just redo to undo. And you can use the shortcut keys, Control Y and Control Z to undo and redo. Correspondingly, that is. So you've got the Control Z to undo and the Control Y to redo. Now again, that will only appear to redo after you undo something. But if I come down here and I type in something, then instead of undoing, because that's not the most recent thing that I did, I actually performed an action, then it converts it from the redo to the repeat. So I can go ahead and click on it, and it repeats the same thing that I just typed. Isn't that fun? And I can keep clicking on it, repeating that over and over again. So if I do something in one part of the document, and I don't want to type in the same thing again, or apply the same formatting, and then you can just come down and, you know, hit the repeat for repeating the text or repeating the format that you applied to one part of your document to another part. And in addition to that, you also have the Control Y that works for the repeat as well, and also the F4 key. So if I do Control Y, it repeats, or if I hit the F4 key, it's the same thing. But as far as the Control Y goes, that works as a double agent. So if you're repeating, it'll go ahead and repeat it. But if you're undoing, like I come up here, and notice when I hit undo, this will convert to a redo because it only follows after I undo something to redo. Okay, we'll go ahead and redo that. Now, if you made a lot of mistakes and you don't want to hit undo, undo, undo over and over again, and then you can click on its corresponding drop down arrow and it keeps track of all the things that you've done. Well, I haven't tested it to see how much it keeps track of, but you can go down to this point where if you select it, you can see it's going to undo eight actions up until where it says type in something. Go ahead and click on it. It undoes the eight actions right up to type. And then I can click on the drop down arrow again, and I just have two remaining actions to undo. I can go ahead and redo and redo and redo and redo, redo and redo and redo and redo and and I'm back to where I started with those 10 actions. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.